The Leander ISD Board of Trustees is reviewing attendance zones for the 2020-2021 school year and the opening of Danielson Middle School. At this point in the rezoning process, the board is presenting Scenario D for public comment. Leander ISD engaged the community throughout the process. In two district-wide online surveys receiving 5,000 responses, the community identified the following priorities for the development of proposed changes. Proximity to home and geography. While having school in proximity of neighborhoods reduces travel and need for buses, it could lead to overcrowded schools and unbalanced enrollments. LISD provides busing if a student's walking route to school is more than two miles away from their assigned school or if their walking route is identified as hazardous. Another identified priority was looking at feeder patterns that minimize splitting schools as students advance to the next level. LISD avoided splitting small groups of students during transitions between schools at middle to high school based on survey results. This principle allows for students to stay together with their peer groups during transitions between elementary and middle and middle to high schools. When this is not possible, LISD staff work to build continuity through counseling services, fine arts and athletic programs to ensure students have quality and fair experience. Our middle and high school teams work with their feeder schools to ease the transitions for all students. The third identified priority was to relieve overcrowded schools and balance enrollments. Overcrowded schools create a higher need for portable buildings and lead to other adjustments, such as crowded and mixed grade level lunch periods and hallways, increased number of academic teams and impacts to participation on competitive teams and performance groups. When school enrollments exceed the building's capacity, LISD might need to adjust school administrative staffing, traffic patterns, and safety protocols. LISD provides staffing to schools based on the number of students, so additional students means additional teachers and support staff. A focus on balancing enrollments or relieving overcrowded schools could lead to students being zoned to schools farther away from their homes or to schools with split feeder patterns. While we work to achieve these three priorities in most of the district, achieving all three is not possible. For example, if you relieve overcrowding at one school, you could create a split feeder pattern or send students to a school farther from their neighborhood. In developing the proposed plan, LISD sought to balance each priority as best as possible. Starting in the northern part of the district, the Danielson Middle School Zone will incorporate north portions of the current Leander Middle School and Wiley Middle School Zones. As a result of this new zone, Leander Middle School will split its feeder pattern approximately 50-50 to Leander and Glen High Schools. The resulting Wiley Middle School Zone will feed exclusively to Rouse High School and Danielson Middle School will feed exclusively to Glen High School. In Scenario D, the projected 2020-2021 enrollment for Danielson Middle School is 994 students. Shifting to the northeast part of the district, Stiles Middle School will see relief in Scenario D as neighborhoods west of Ronald Reagan Boulevard and north of Ranch Road 1431 move to Wiley Middle School. The projected 2020-2021 enrollment for Wiley Middle School is 868 students in Scenario D, down from the current year total of 1,084 students. In addition to changing from Stiles to Wiley, Neighborhood Code 1625 will also change its high school zone to Rouse to keep vertical feeder pattern alignment. Stiles Middle School will see additional relief in Scenario D as the Neighborhood Code's zone to Rutledge Elementary School shift to Henry Middle School. Enrollment at Stiles Middle School is projected at 975 students in 2020-2021, down from the current year total of 1,405 students. In the central part of the district, the focus of aligning middle school to high school feeder patterns brings change to neighborhood codes on the west side of the current Henry Middle School zone. This change moves the small cohort of Henry students zoned for Cedar Park High School to Cedar Park Middle School. 
to create some space at Henry Middle School and to maintain middle school to high school feeder pattern alignment, neighborhood codes 2000 and 2010 will switch from Henry Vista Ridge to Cedar Park Middle School and Cedar Park High School. The projected Henry Middle School enrollment for 2020-2021 is 1,545 students in Scenario D, up from the current year total of 1,381 students. Cedar Park Middle School is projected at 1,475 students, up from 1,321 students. The resulting Henry Middle School zone will feed exclusively to Vista Ridge High School and Cedar Park Middle School will continue to feed exclusively to Cedar Park High School. The last area with rezoning in Scenario D comes in the western part of the district. Neighborhood Code 4770 changes to Leander Middle School to provide relief to Running Brushy Middle School. Enrollment at Leander Middle School is projected at 979 students in Scenario D for the 2020-2021 school year down from the current total of 1,114 students. Running Brushy Middle School is projected at 1,383 students, up from 1,216 students. Neighborhood codes 3100, 3200, 3300, 3400, and 9955 will remain Running Brushy Middle School, but change from Cedar Park High School to Leander High School. This change was made to align the middle school and high school feeder pattern without adding more students to Cedar Park Middle School. As a result, Running Brushy Middle School will feed exclusively to Leander High School. This scenario does not impact Canyon Ridge or Four Points Middle Schools. Please take a moment to review the impacts of Scenario D on school enrollments. In addition to two public meetings, Monday, April 8th, and Wednesday, April 10th, Community feedback is welcomed online at www.leanderisd.org slash msaz. This feedback will be presented to the board at the April 18th meeting. The district is on pace to approve 2020-2021 attendance zoning changes in May 2019.